I just got out of the shower. I was looking over the footage from Toronto from my third day. Difficult for me. Um, but it's relevant, effective in many ways so far, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I like the therapy. So today, I'm going to ride over and um, see about when I can get some metal fish cut. So I'm gonna draw some fish out. I met this woman who does ceramics. We have this idea that maybe we'll do some art classes here and have different kinds of mediums that we work with and make a curriculum so twice a week we will do these different classes specified. So I wanna get some fish cut out because that will be one of my classes. The other thing is I'm waiting to hear back from a friend of mine about her website because I'm almost finished that, doing that for her. So I also, it's kind of a gray day. I wanted to wait for a sunny day because I need more footage to do more sort of like Costa Rica vibe videos. I need to get out there and get some more footage at some point. Plus I have laundry to do, so on a sunny day I'll do laundry and I'll go up and get footage or go on my bike and see what I can see. That's that. I also am hungry. So um, I was all inspired to do that cutting, so I'm gonna make some cactus for the first time. Cactus. I'm gonna make some cactus for the first time. So I'm kind of stoked about that. So I can continue this therapy and being able to communicate what it is that I'm doing. I get in trouble, I feel like I get in trouble on Facebook. It's that I realize that I have a different thinking than these people. I might be old fashioned. I've always been a liberal, but I must say, I have some very conservative views. And it seems as if um, I am banished for that. I'm not allowed to have those and nobody else has those either. It's just a bizarre way of, you know, virtue signaling about like the kind of person you are. So there's this video of this physically unfit lady going out onto the snow from her porch and shooing away a cat. Looks like she's not even wearing outdoor clothes, she just put her slippers on or something. She's gone out and she's kicking snow to get this cat away, kicking the snow in front of the cat. And the cat's being hesitant, it's not running away. So she continues to try to kick this snow in the cat's face to make it run away and the cat's angry and the cat jumps up, grabs the lady by the face and attacks her. And she falls to the ground, tears the cat off her face, gets up and throws the cat and the cat's ready to come back at her again and she retreats running back into the gate and the dog, the whole time she's fighting the cat, he's wagging the tail, realizes that the lady's hurt, stops wagging the tail, watches his lady come back inside, retreating like this back into the house and the cat uh, is still bravo and angry and comes back to the gate in order to uh, come back to her property and do whatever it was doing that made her want to shoo the cat away. She didn't hit the cat, she didn't um, try and hurt the cat, she was kicking snow to try to get the cat to go away. So, it seems like the liberal idea is to hate ourselves 
to hate all human beings and want to see them be hurt in the name of justice. So we love animals, uh, you know, vegan is the, is the proper way, is the moral way, and anybody who appears slightly not to be giving, you know, abundant love in a colorful, beautiful setting is deemed atrocious. So she's just an average lady trying to shoo a cat away from her yard who's obviously been a nuisance and everybody's like, yay, the lady, kitty one, mean lady, zero, way to go, kitty, bestie, that'll teach her. So I write, ouch, fucking cat. <laughs> because, like, if I was trying to get a cat away from my dog, like, and I'm just trying to shoo it away if I use my feet because there's snow just to, you know, or my arms or to make a lot of noise. I don't know what she was doing or what the story was behind it. She may have been trying to get this cat away for weeks. We don't know the story. But immediately people are against this lady. So she said, that bitch deserves it. And I'm like, wow, how did the imagination, how did this Im image of a woman shooting away a pesky cat become deserving of a violent attack from a domestic animal? And she was kicking snow on an innocent cat for crying out loud, good kitty. Ha, ah, that's stretching the imagination. She may have been kicking the snow in front of a stubborn and aggressive cat to get him away from her property and from driving her poor dog crazy, taunting and messing with the dog. Maybe she had enough of it. Finally went outside in the snow to come to her little dog's rescue. As you can see, the cat was not respecting her territory or wishes and returns to cause more shit inside her gate as soon as the poor lady victim has to retreat. Living with nature can be hell. And so they don't see her as a victim. They're like, yay, human deserves pain and anguish from animal. <gasps> like it's terrible. Like I, and everybody is like this gang mentality where it's like, get the, come on. It's like a witch hunt. Like get the inappropriate. It's, pol it's, 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 it's politics. It's like the PC culture and the PC culture is not supposed to be a, a liberal ideal. Um, so, that's why there's this argument about what collectivists and individuals are, but oh my god. So that dog's wagging too much. She writes, that dog's wagging too much while she's kicking. Sick bastard. So I turn it around because I think that this conversation is funny. Yes, the dog was happy to have some help with that crazy cat. Kicking snow around the feet as a deterrent is the best way to shoo a nuisance with a sane intruder. Some cats are sicker than others. So nobody liked that. So some other woman decide to respond and you know, people take this very seriously and it really goes to show you how arrogant humans are. That woman truly believed that kicking snow would discourage the cat. Ha! Ha! Okay, so yeah, yeah, that woman truly believed that kicking snow in front of another living being to show your territory and to get back would be a reasonable way to deter the animal from coming forward. It seems fairly harmless and it does seem like a, you know, waving the arms, making some sound, kicking some snow about the feet. These do sound like reasonable ways to mark your territory, whether it's a human or an animal or whatever, you know, it's a bad woman. Terrible, terrible woman. Cat probably loves snow, but hates being kicked at. Oh yeah, that's why the cat's in such a great mood out there outside in the snow. Mm. I th everyone loves to be freezing colds and not have food. So maybe the cat's, you know, looking for something, but doing it aggressively. Or who knows, once the dog, I, we don't know the story, but it's not, it's not like this horrible woman all of a sudden. So this new person on my thread, Okay, I think the cat gave the woman lots of time to stop the inappropriate behavior, but went one kick too far. You don't solve a problem by kicking. It's grade school information. Bullies always get what's coming to them. It's about this bully campaign. So this woman, we're so against bullies, but we don't know the picture. We don't know the story, but it's like mob mentality. Get the woman, save the cat. But no, a cat could never be inappropriate. Cats are always great, especially when they jump up and grab your face and scratch your face. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so, oh yeah, another person calls this woman a dumb bitch. For, it's a seriously like mob mentality, aggressive, stand for something. People must feel, people feel like they don't have any political control whatsoever, so they take sides on these social issues and they think they're standing for something. 
ridiculous. Bullies always get what's coming to them. So I want to respond with this, but I don't dare to because I think that today's society, they don't um, agree with diversity, which is the most important part of diversity, which is diversity of thought. So it would be okay if I had, you know, a, appeared differently than somebody else. That's acceptable, apparently. But if I... <laughs> Yeah, we don't live in a superficial world at all. But if I have a difference of opinion, oh, this is a problem. So um, I would like to say this, but I don't dare to. Yes, we feel so helpless that the best we can do is signal our virtuous activity by condemning video snippets that we can hastily infer truth from. And then we can be the trial judge and jury because we have no faith in the system. We should throw the baby out with the bathwater. We increasingly find it easier to hate ourselves and demonstrate our great ethics by jumping the, bangwag the bandwagon mob mentality of social media. Let's bully the bullies to show that bullying is bad. Wave your hands and kick your feet. That will be no measure of your territory to any creature. Long live communism, equality and fairness. Anyways, bye. <laughs>